I'm Brett Griffin. We're here with Alex Harrell of Harrell Farms in Smithfield, Georgia. We're also joined by Trevor with Nutrinag Solutions. And for the first time in my life, I'm meeting a world record holder. Uh, Alex, tell us about the history of this farm. Uh, yeah, my dad started in 1972, so I guess that's 52 years ago. So this is his 52nd crop, and it's my uh, 15th. We grow wheat, corn, soybeans, and watermelons. How in the world did you get to the point that you're being so productive and having such high yields with beans that you're, you're the world record holder? When we quit growing cotton and peanuts five years ago, I had to find something that would take the place of those acres. So we started experimenting with full season beans. Most of the beans in this area, if there are any, which is rare because we're in cotton and peanut country, are double crop behind wheat. So hardly any full season. And I wanted to see if we could make 100 bushel full season beans. We took what we've learned on the high yielding corn side and we kind of bred it over into the, in the soybean side and, and grew from there. So we made 100 pretty quick um, and then got to 200 last year. Wow. Are you going to break it again? It's all based off of emergence and singulation, so we won't know that until after they come up next year. Are there any secrets that you're willing to share? No, there's no secrets at all. It's like baking a cake. If it takes 20 ingredients to make this cake, you know, you could probably take 10 of them and still have a cake at the end of the day, but it's not going to be as good as if you had everything in the right ration and the right order. So what are you getting ready for now at this point? Are you getting ready for buying for seed for next season? We're actually planting cover crop. This field here was planted Saturday in cover crop. We'll go through. We run a speed disc and it just chops up the top three inches and it, um, it smooths out any ruts, chops up any residue and it plants, uh, we plant wheat or rye as a cover crop and let it come up and then we'll strip till into it next year. When you're looking at next year's seed purchases, what, what goes into that with you and Trevor? Cause obviously there's a lot of options out there. To me, and this probably isn't the way a lot of people do it. When I'm deciding seed, we go off of um, data on our farm because we do a lot of trials with varieties and stuff. I don't pay attention to the price of the varieties. You know, that's not a factor to me. Trevor, I think he trusts you if he's not looking at the price. He does. <laughs> He'll shoot me what he's looking at doing and all that. And I, we just try to make sure logistically that it's there on time when he's ready to put it in the ground. What's it like working with a grower that does his own research versus some that maybe don't do as much? With you doing your own research like Alex does, it, it does make my job a lot easier because he already knows what he wants. You know, he just says, hey, here it is. Can you get it? And I'll say, yeah or no. And then I may, if we have a new product, I'll throw it out there at him and he'll do the research on that and he'll say yes or no. And Alex, when you're doing research, what, what are you looking for? Uh, three to one ROI. So when we put in a plot or something like that, if I spend $1, it's gotta make three, $3 back two years in a row before we'll even consider it. The name of this docuseries is Feeding the Future. Uh, Trevor, what does Feeding the Future together mean to you? It's the American farmer, man. If we don't have them, we don't have anything. You know, they're the backbone of our country. Alex, when you take good growers and you, you partner up with good suppliers like Nutrien, you know, that's, that's gonna help us feed the future down the road. I can't remember the exact number, but they're saying so many more billion people by year 2050. So, and we're losing land every day to solar panels or windmills or development or whatever it is. So our, our yield per acre has got to go up. Do you feel any pressure on everything you just said? Yeah, yeah, every day.